How many of you had an event last week which caused a little bit of anger right, to rise in you? Most of us, right? Okay. That was your law of attraction. And in fact, your anger was your resistance to the law of attraction. We'll talk about that in a minute. So, does everyone understand the difference between what I'm saying and what you've probably been taught about the law of attraction? The law of attraction is not something you can mentally construct. It's something that happens at the soul condition, which is to do with your emotions, your passions, your desires. Everything that's happening inside of you is what governs your law of attraction. So everyone understands that? Okay. Now you notice there's a section that I've made under what is soul condition. And notice I've listed the things that can change your soul condition. You notice that? Now it's very, I won't discuss all of those at the moment, but it's very, very important that you understand the things that can change your soul condition the most rapidly. Do you want, if you're, if you're attracting a negative event or a negative people into your life, do you want to change that now or do you want to change that gradually over about 50 years? What would you prefer? Now, now wouldn't you? Okay, so, so therefore it would make sense to use the method, that's the, the most rapid method, wouldn't it? To, to work on your soul condition. Wouldn't that make sense? Now, many people don't. What they do is they use the most slowest method. So you often see this in relationships where a woman will marry a man initially and the man's quite abusive and maybe even violent, right? So she works through that emotion where she doesn't want that anymore and she releases that man from her life and it's usually called divorce nowadays, but she releases that man from her life and she attracts another man. But this man is not, not physically abusive to her, but he's emotionally abusive to her. And she might live with him for another 10 years, hoping for him to change and so forth, like we always do, but eventually work through the emotion that causes her to stay in that condition. And if he doesn't change, she would probably leave that relationship. Now she's learned two things, hasn't she, about self-love. Self-love doesn't let me get abused physically. And then she, on the second marriage, learnt self-love doesn't get, let her get abused emotionally. So she's doing pretty good, right? But that might have taken 25 years. <laughs> Do you want to take 25 years to learn those two lessons? Right? Really. Now many of us have, haven't we? In our own lives, we have taken this long period of time to learn these, these lessons that are being reflected at us. Now, the law of attraction operating on your soul condition is God's messenger of truth to you. Now, if you're really serious about the law of attraction, can you see that the first time the lady got hit, she could have actually dealt with the emotion or the passion or desire or longing inside of her soul that created her soul condition. And she could have dealt with that emotion there and then and the very next day left that relationship. Now that often doesn't happen, does it? Often you stay in it for 10 years, but you can see how if she had a different way of, act, of dealing with it, she could have actually deal with it and within a day or two days or a week, be totally out of that relationship, no longer attracting it. Does that make sense? If she dealt with it emotionally. The problem with dealing with it intellectually, she says, I've been beaten up by this guy, so I leave him, I go to a refuge home, you know, spend a few weeks there, find another life, if I don't deal with it emotionally, what am I going to attract next? The same kind of man in a different body. That's what I'm going to attract. And then if, if we find that happening in our lives, what are we doing? We are basically not listening to God's messenger of truth. We're not listening to the law of attraction. Now, usually when a child isn't listened to, what happens? Often they speak a bit louder, right? <laughs> and then they speak a bit louder. And then they yell and scream at you, right? Trying to get your attention. Isn't that right? Well, that's what the law of attraction does. Have many of you noticed that? Yes. How the law of attraction, you know, you could have listened to one thing, you could have listened to the next, and then it just intensifies, intensifies, intensifies until it feels like everything's caving in on you. And then you listen. Well, you don't have to do that either. You could listen the first time, you see. And this is why it's very important to understand the law of attraction, because if we understand it, we'll start seeing it as God's speaking to me. Do you follow me? And if we start seeing it as that, 
we will start listening to it and we'll start observing it on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you start doing that, then the power of it gets exploded, it, get, it gets enhanced so much that every single day you are changing and every single week you start attracting different things because of the rapid changes you're making. So how do we make rapid changes? The first way to make rapid changes is, the, and in fact the only way to make the most rapid changes are to do with receiving divine love. Now,